making that the final award of the evening. And it is for the most valuable player voted for by the panel at UEFA. Well, the sporting club here in Monaco is now waiting to find out the identity of the most valuable player in Europe last year. And that's going to be revealed after our next award. The Golden Shoe has been presented for many years to Europe's leading goal scorer, the striker with the hottest shooting boots. The race for this award really was a pretty close one. I can tell you, even on the final day of the Italian season, it could have been taken by Andrei Shevchenko, but he just failed to reach the final total of this year's winner. Well, to present the award once again, please welcome, he is poised to join us, the UEFA president, Mr. Lennart Johansson. Hi, Lennart. Welcome back. Well, the winner of the uh, Golden Shoe Award for 2000-2001 has already managed to add three goals to the 53 he scored for his club last season. And his story is all the more heartwarming because he recovered from a serious injury received during a UEFA Cup match a couple of years ago to return to absolutely sparkling form. Here's the man in action. And he arrived in Celtic back in 1997, 98, and since then it has been a trail of goals all the way. 16, 29, 35 last season. That was in the league with a grand total of 53 overall. He's already off to a flyer this year as well. Four games gone, three goals scored in the league. No confirmation needed, really. It's Henrik Larsson. <laughs> Welcome, Henrik. Two very proud Swedes up here. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Henrik, just come over here and, and have, a, have a little chat with me. First of all, and many congratulations, I mean, 53, that is a massive total. Can you believe you did that? No, not really. We need a little bit of luck as well. And uh, good teammates as well, so I'm pleased with that. You might be aware there'd be people watching who might be injured, who might not be able to play their sport at the moment. And what you have done, coming back from a serious injury, it's a terrific source of inspiration to them. Yeah, no, but I mean, it's important when you come back from injury that you have uh, good medical facilities. And I've been having that at Celtic uh, with all, yeah, with Brian Scott, the Roddy, the doctor, and uh, so everything, everything has been all right. And uh, despite your home defeat by Ajax last night, Celtic are in the Champions League. How much does that mean to you? Oh, it's nice. It's the first time for me personally as well that I uh, have a chance to play in the Champions League. So um, it's going to be good fun to, to be playing there. I think you start at home to Rusenberg, you've got uh, Juventus and you've got Porto in, in your group. Uh, the, the Champions League is quite a tough competition, you know that, yeah? Yeah, I've been watching a lot of it on television, so I know all about it. Good, OK. Henrik Larsson, Lennart Johansson, thank you very much you indeed. Very much. Well done, Henrik. Thank you for joining us tonight. And that takes us to our final award for...